Oh, let's have a look at that. So beautiful. I love the table. Hey guys, it's Wads with Wads Up channel and we're back at the BC Overlanding Rally in Merritt, BC 2022. And uh, I'm looking for innovative overlanding solutions. And I came across these guys, Armor Light, and they got this really cool, innovative design called the EXP2. So uh, I'm going to introduce you to Kyle. He's going to take us around on a little uh, walk around as it is, a little tour, and show you guys all about the Armor Light EXP2. Kyle, thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. You got it, man. Right on, right uh, on. So this is our EXP2. This is a brand new model, our new prototype for our mid-sized trucks. It fits a long and a, uh, and a short box. Right. That departure angle gives it a, a bit more room to fit on a short box. Okay. The unit only weighs 583 pounds dry, which means on a Tacoma, you're getting it base underweight, significantly underweight, allowing you to pack gear, however much you need. The big let's, thing with this- Let's walk and talk and check it all Absolutely. out. Absolutely. This interior is all modular. It's all synthetic, so you can wash it down, clean it out, take out what you need, put in what you need. Unit is designed to be built around your needs, tailored for you. We offer a lifetime warranty on this exterior shell, meaning that 50 years from now, you sell it to your neighbor, they come to us, they have some kind of an issue, we fix it, no questions asked. This interior, as you see there, we have a bed that sits on these panels across there, allowing you to have a full queen size bed. If you don't necessarily need that, no sweat. You can take these panels, put them down onto these side pack out mounts, and you have a queen, you have a single on that side, you can do a cot up there, and same on this left hand side, you take these out. This little, um, that panel th there, exactly. Th that just goes right there? Exactly. Okay. We have three more up there. Oh. And those sit on these mounts across here. Oh, and you do a full bed. Okay, so you could sleep how you many? You could sleep. Recently, the unit was designed around one. That was kind of the intention. You sleep one guy, one individual, say a hunter, fisher, biker, whatever. My father and I have been living out of this for the past two weeks and we've been sleeping very comfortably. That's here. great. Is it made out of fiberglass? So or? these walls are made out of aluminum. They aluminum. are aluminum sandwich panel. This entire unit is made out of aluminum. These extrusions, these panels, meaning it's ultra light, ultra strong. There is a high density foam on the inside, okay. meaning this thing is super, super strong. This unit has an R value of roughly 40 making it twice as insulated as your average house. Can we see the, the door operation? Cause that, it's a really Absolutely. interesting design. Oh, I love that positive connection there. And this also works with the key fob, but we also have a manual release here. Oh, look at that. So are you saying with a key fob, you can open it remotely? Yes, sir. Well, settle down, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I love that. Let's uh, let's have a look around the outside here because yeah, it's it. it really is a nice looking is really is a nice looking unit, and I love how it really ties in with the TRD. Absolutely, and a huge part of that is based off the color match. Yeah. Clearly, the color matching to the truck, and one of the big things because of the proprietary panels, because of the information that we have, the technologies that we use. We can color match with any color truck. A big problem with other composite panels is that they can't match to a dark truck because of delamination. We don't have the same issues. Um, single pane, double pane. True dual pane with an argon filled in the interior. Look at you, Kyle. I thought I was gonna get you on a, <laughs> a single pane there. No, nope, not on that one. <laughs> okay, let me, let me, do these open? Yes, sir, they do. Alrighty. So we can get some cross ventilation. I love that. Oh, those look like some expensive windows. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys didn't cut a whole lot of corners. You kind of just lost Absolutely your mind, didn't not. you? Absolutely. Whose not. fault's that? Yours or your dad's? The old man's. <laughs> he sounds a lot by, <laughs> like my father-in-law. <laughs> Doesn't do anything halfway. Here's no. a great example of that. Like, um, so tell me a little about this because I like how it supports the sides and the corner unit. And it's just a bit of a brush guard. Yeah. Here. So exactly. This is a rub rail. Uh, this is where our jack mounts are. They're just hidden underneath this because we wanted to touch it up, clean it up a little bit. All these are stainless steel? Absolutely. Because I hate Absolutely. that, you, you know, they, they they fit it with, you know, you got those little rust strips. That Absolutely. drives me it, crazy. It looks, it looks horrible, it looks cheap, and it yeah. wears down. Yeah. You don't have that kind of issue with this. Put camper jacks on here, you let let off those hold downs, and you drive the unit right out. So this, that, I don't imagine that opens, does it? That is our solar panel. That's a that, solar panel. Solar panel. 
wow. 600 watt okay. power film. Uh, the same kind of solar panel the US military uses. Okay, and how many watts is that solar panel? That is 100. Okay, all right. And that ties into, I guess, a controller? Absolutely, it ties into a battery, which is we've done also on the interior in one of the pack out mounts. At that front left-hand corner is our battery. That's a 220 amp Can I, can I just hop off. in there? Cuff? Absolutely. Okay. Kyle, can you show me the uh, the blind there? Absolutely. My, my pet peeve, I don't know about you, but I get I get blind window shade rage when they don't come down or go up or they they fold or Absolutely. It's just there's such when, there's so much garbage on the market. Do you mind if I go for it? Oh, oh my god, there's they're magnetic. They are magnetic. <laughs> Thank A huge you. part of this unit is magnetic. Those front windows, <laughs> portholes, all rare earth magnets. I hate flappy blinds. I know I sound OCD, but there's, <laughs> there's some things that just drive me crazy, and blinds are one of them. I like the cargo in that. That's a nice detail. Oh, Thank you. Hey, let's let's check out the, the sunroof. I'm, I'm going out. Don't yeah, try go and stop me. That's nice. So how's the insulation against heat um, without an AC unit in here or even the cold? So we're currently working on developing heat. Right now, because of how incredible the insulation value is in this unit, we find opening up that front pass-through window and running okay. truck heat for less than five minutes or AC, you have the windows closed, it gets real cold or real hot if you need so, it. Is it fair to say that this is a four season? More, yes, absolutely. We have units from the Yukon in Northern Canada, all the way to the border of Mexico. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's have a little pan. I guess these are specs here. You got it. So just show our viewers what's going on there. Beautiful. Um, just a couple more questions. What is that? Does that actuate the door? You got it. That's our door handle. And those legs there? So these legs are the same as those ones. We just didn't put oh, them up braces. for ease of access. Exactly, they're braces across here for the queen size bed. And additionally, they support the clot on either side. And you can take them out and make a table. Using one of these and all four of the all four of the legs, you can make a table put out in front of your. Can you stand on the roof? At, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We've had these units roll. The whole truck is supported by the roof. See, I'm trying to find holes in your design. I'm not finding a whole lot. I'm, I, I'm assuming, I mean, they're not cheap to build, they're not cheap to purchase, but that's not your market. You're looking for people that are looking for quality design that lasts, has great resale value, uh, and doesn't fall apart, especially Absolutely. when you're overlanding, off-roading, that kind of thing. Absolutely. And it's light enough to fit in a number of different platforms. Um, wh what kind of price range are we looking at, and are they available in Canada and the United States? So the price range, the base price is 39.8 Canadian. Mm -hmm with all the options as you see it here, 45 Canadian. Okay. They are available in Canada and United States. How would you summarize how this differentiates itself from a number of the other designs on the market? Because you obviously considered that when you were like, all right, mm -hmm. we're gonna get into this market because, and here are our competitors and here's how we're gonna do things differently. So is there a story there? Absolutely there is. The goal was to take the knowledge that we've gained from doing industrial work, from doing cut lines, doing some of the hardest work, honestly, in Canada, the guys doing up on the cut lines, and take that same kind of information and apply it to the overland market. So it's lighter, better insulated, it's stronger. We offer the lifetime warranty. I mean, wow. the whole point, the whole philosophy was to take overland, find out what its core tenants are, what its core goals are, and really drive towards them. Uh, Kyle, is that also an uh, EXP? That is, that's an EXP one. Oh. So that's for our full size model. Can I, do you mind if I have a quick little? Yeah, you can take a look. That's a customer unit. Okay. And there are people in there at the moment. All right. Yeah, absolutely, take a look. So I've got the FX4 F150. So this would be something that I would consider for the full size units. Oh, let's have a look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, we, we did an F150 overland build on my channel. Okay. Uh, with a rooftop tent and 
lightener and pods and, and suspension and bumpers and winches, all that kind of great stuff. Um, this is really nice, especially if you're towing as well. Absolutely. And that comes in at 1470 on there, fully outfitted. Okay, great. Let's have a look at the front. I know I said it was only going to be a couple of minutes, but no worries. It's, it's pretty interesting. That's what oh, we're here for. Oh, nice. You got the lights there too. That's, mm -hmm. that's a nice touch. Oh my God, you're crazy. It's so beautiful. I love the table. Look at this table, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. These nice cabinetry, holy. Oh God. <laughs> you lost your mind here, Jason. So there's Jason, he's the director. He's the, uh, the mind behind many of these designs or most of these designs. I love that positive click. Oh, look at this cute little, beautiful. Oh, it's spacious up here. Love all these smooth surfaces. Wow, that's a talk about a nice counter. Look at the design here. Devils in the details. Look at this window. Beautiful windows. Look at this design. Fridge. Pump, heater, fan, lights. Nice control panel. Oh, full, look at this fridge. Just slide that lock mm -hmm. there. Exactly. That's nice. The devil's in the details and you guys have completely, you've gone overboard. <laughs> you really have. Uh, uh, I, I can't find anything that I really don't like. I'll leave the link below guys in the video so you can find out more reach out to Kyle or the director, Jason. Good guys, family run business, great designs.